Right, so this is going to be one of the few videos I'm doing on Star Wars Squadrons in English. And I felt that due to the fact that most of my other Star Wars games videos are in English, I felt that I wanted to give a short commentary on how I view the game. And we are going to take the lead here in our T-65 X-Wing against the Vile Empire. We have uh, upgraded a bit, and we are going to put our throttle uh, right ahead forward. So right now there's no target available. We need to keep our eyes open. There we got him. God damn it. Well, that didn't start out start very well. We started off with a head-to-head -head against superior numbers, and that is never a good idea. However, it seems like we managed to scrape a trade out of that with one of our own ships going behind there. So, and we do have a... So, the entire power system thing works like a charm. We got a kill. Watch out, 6241 and other techno battle that is classic to Star Wars Dog Fights. The nice thing about having power to weapons means, of course, that your weapons are available at all times. Especially when helping out mates, that is a really good thing to have. We have a lock, fire a missile. Kill. Well, it started out bad. It's going better, at least. I got him. Fox 2! Another kill. You know, I'm really feeling I'm deserving that Rebel Legion X-Wing pilot outfit I got at home now. But that, then again, that's probably just jinxing it. Got him. I think. Alright, watch out. Coming around. I don't think these guys really know how to fly because so far we are dominating them fairly easy <coughs> we still got shields up so whatever damage we took is not not very critical also we are really fucking dominating them now countermeasures I don't know if that countermeasure even went away Nice thing about missile locks is that they're fairly they're fairly automatic, really. Oh, we're disabled. That was an iron torpedo. Let's repair our hull and get back into it. So So far, my impression of this game is that it's actually very much a pilot's pilot's game. Like there's no pay to win mechanics. There are <coughs> only additions that can alter the flow of the battle uh, and how you choose to fight yourself and play to your own advantages. But the, all these things come with disadvantages too. So it's kind of a f nice thing to see that they really want this to be a skillful game. Now I w do want, I would really like there to be track IR compatibility here. So far, I'm not seeing any sort of track IR compatibility, and if they can just include that, everything would be so much more immersive. But, so far, if you like the idea of flying in the Star Wars universe, and felt that the Starfighter mode in Battlefront was far too basic, then hell, this, this game is going to be for you. Because so far, it's just pure pilot skill, especially in the dogfight mode. And it's so much fun. 
I mean, your choices matter. Like, I've been flying here f with uh, power to weapons for the majority of this fight. This means I'm slower than the Imperials. Most of them can... Can probably... Oh, he shouldn't have done that. He should have just c kept on his course. My missile had all the chances in the world to just go past him and miss. I don't know why he insists on... Alright, so... Don't forget it. And the thing is, if you have a flight stick, that actually helps a lot in this game. It, it really does. And... Ha because your feeling of the ship is a lot more fluid with a flight stick than it is with a mouse and keyboard. That said, I haven't actually even tried it with a mouse and keyboard yet. The campaign is decent, uh, in... But... what thing is, if you are playing this, then you are playing this for the multiplayer. You If either that or it's for the VR experience. I mean, but seriously, 40 bucks for this game. It's worth it. Trust me when I say it's goddamn worth it. Because it is. Uh, I really hope we're not spawn camping them now. It is possible to spawn camp. And it is a rude thing to do. We got a kill. Nice. Enemy is locking on. We're pushing the repair and making sure we don't collide into things. Either way, the multiplayer is fast-paced, skill-based, and absolutely a blast. If you want the, if you want the experience of just flying through space, blasting up rebel scum or the Empire or whatever, then hey, this thing is actually really, really nice. Well, and of course, as we've always in these kinds of game, it always matters what kind of speed you're at. And notice that there is no discernible auto-aim either. Where I'm shooting is where I'm hitting. So you are not getting any aid in that regard. There are, of course, the auto-locking laser, but it does so much less damage that it's not worth it. And if you see anyone using it, then they're either on just keyboard or simply not. So there's one last kill to have. Let's see if we can't grab the, grab that one. We're firing at long range now. We got the kill. And that is a victory for the rebellion. And that is Lundqvist, top scorer in this dogfight in Star Wars Squadrons, just as it should be. So I got the heavy hitter with uh, most damage dealt, and we just reached level 5, meaning that we can now participate in the ranked fleet battles. Oh god, we got a couple of requisition uh, out of that as well, so we got a lot of requisition, so now it's time to just have a look at our ships and it's back to the menu and we of course we've managed to do so nice work nice 